Hello, welcome to a crash course tutorial on how to play the guitar. The guitar is a simple instrument to learn, though it does take a lifetime to master. I myself have been playing about a year now, and there are new things I'm learning every day. For this tutorial, we will be using a standard E-tuned six-string acoustic guitar. What makes a guitar acoustic is the box down at the base, which gives the sounds a nice, rich, full text. To learn to play the guitar, we must first identify with the strings. The first string on the very bottom we will call number one for those who are using tablature. The first string on the very bottom is known as the high E. And the strings ascend from one through six, where six, being on top, is the low E. Which, as you can tell, has a deeper resonance than the high E. But when played together, we have harmony. And harmony are notes that complement each other. From there, as we learn our notes, and we know number one is our high E, it moves up to B, G, D, A, and then our low E. From there, we must learn our frets. The frets are 1 through 12, all the way down here. and Number 12 is usually represented as two dots. Depending on who makes your guitar, there will be dots on top as well as dots on the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, and then the two dots on 12th. This will help you along as you progress into an advanced stage or learn the basic sounds as they move up and down the fretboard. To know music, you must understand there are seven notes in the scale. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. If you look at the diagram, you will see that A is played strings 1 through 5 with three fingers, or depending on how you learn to play in an advanced stage, you can play it with one. But for this one, we will use three fingers. They will be on the second fret. We'll play strings 1 through 5 with the exception of string 6. We will leave that one open, but we won't touch it. That is what an A sounds like. From there, we will slide up two frets, and we will bar the second fret with our main finger, and we will play the same A shape, but this will be known as a B. note will be a C. As you look at the diagram, you'll see it, like the A, uses strings 1 through 5. That is a C. The fourth one is a D, which are only strings 1 through 4. From there, we have E. And then we have F and G and then all together A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Then there are strum styles to it. Generally a strum if you want to learn how to strum, take your hand and place it loosely over your strings so you kind of get a flat note. There's harmonics if you bar over the 7th and the 12th, which will sound like this, which you can hear the notes as you gently press on them. From there, you can get a strum pattern and then play from there. Once you have a strum pattern, you find the notes that complement each other as they progress. For general use, F likes C and really loves G. E, well, E likes A. And E also likes D. And D is kind of a giver, so he likes G.